It's embarrassing that while SpaceX successfully lifted its rocket to orbit, Blue Origin has still struggled with its suborbital launches. It's true, the debut launch of the latest model of Blue Origin's New Shepard suborbital vehicle, at first glance, occurred with flying colors. However, in reality, it hides serious problems that the company itself avoids talking about. This once again raises skepticism about a culture of cover-up within the company. Find out everything in today's episode. To start, let's use one word to describe Blue Origin. You can feel free to share your idea in the comment below. In my view, I will nickname them Blue Origin Secret, simply because I'm a big fan of Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Okay, I'm just kidding. Primarily caused by Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin's CEO prefers to hide many things about the operation of his company, including the New Glenn Rockets development, and even the data around the first flight of a new model of its new Shepard suborbital vehicle, called NS-27. On October 27th, NS-27 saw the first uncrewed test flight of the second New Shepard vehicle, designed to carry human passengers high off the Earth, but not into orbit. It occurred after two scrubbed attempts on the 7th and 13th, respectively. The launch is called by the company as nominal and on target despite two weird points. First, NS-27 appears to be less successful than its previous test flight, NS-26. Its first stage rocket, called Booster 5, reached a peak altitude of 102.3 kilometers above sea level, while Blue Origin's new crew capsule, RSS Carmen Line flew to an apogee of 102.4 kilometers. On NS-26, the capsule went to 105.4 kilometers. Previous New Shepard flights, both crewed and uncrewed, have typically flown to altitudes of between 105 and 107 kilometers above sea level. It stems from the engine shutdown on NS-27 took place about two seconds earlier than the previous flight. NS-26 had a maximum ascent speed at engine shutdown of 3,602 km per hour, while NS-27's maximum ascent speed was 3,473 km per hour, according to data released by Blue Origin. A lower speed at engine shutdown would result in a lower apogee. So, what's wrong with the new model? Of course, we have no idea about it because the company didn't explain. They also didn't publicly release statistics about the flight, including peak altitude and speed as it normally does. It's safe to say that it would be normal to have an anomaly in the first flight of any vehicle, not to mention this is the testing of New Shepard's new model. Anyway, it is close to apparently close enough to the mark for Blue Origin. However, what puzzled us the most was BO's cover-up which reflected that something was not quite right inside the company. That's the problem. It's been 24 years, and from outside of the company, all we see is big talk and little results. We have been waiting, and waiting and waiting for the debut of BO's New Glenn rocket, which is advertised as a Falcon 9's competitor. New Glenn is a heavy lift launch vehicle and is being used for placing crewed and uncrewed payloads into Earth orbit and beyond. Like SpaceX's Falcon 9, New Glenn is a two-stage booster with a reusable first stage that, mission planners hope, will land vertically after stage separation. New Glenn has experienced a slow development and manufacturing process that has led to significant delays. Development of the New Glenn rocket started before 2013 and was formally announced in 2016 with an inaugural flight planned for 2020. However, that date has come and gone without any launch. Another light hope has come as the company announced a new launch date for the long-awaited vehicle, no earlier than November 2024. To add to the certainty, they also said that this launch will carry a prototype Blue Ring spacecraft and serve as its first certification launch for the Space Force's National Security Space Launch Program. News on the rocket's development has been updated more frequently with the latest news indicating that the installation of seven B-4 New Glenn engines has been completed. While we don't know if a November 2024 launch date is feasible, here's hoping they can make it happen. How about you? Do you believe that the inaugural New Glenn launch could happen in November as planned? 
let me know in the comments. Like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos also has a big dream of colonizing space, build enormous space stations that would allow a trillion humans to live throughout the solar system. Though he said he won't see them built in his lifetime, Bezos founded Blue Origin for the purpose of making his vision come to life. Musk has his sights on Mars, saying he wants to establish a permanent, self-sustaining human colony of one million people on the Red Planet by 2050. SpaceX is helping him toward that goal. Nevertheless, as you can see, despite sharing the same vision with SpaceX, BO is opaque compared to Elon's company, which often gives the impression that there just isn't any progress to see. Alongside New Glenn, Bezos, in 2021, unveiled plans to build a private space station called Orbital Reef by 2030. The outpost will initially complement but eventually take the baton from the International Space Station, which is expected to be retired in the 2028 to 2030 timeframe. Orbital Reef's envisioned customers include national governments, private industry, and space tourists. Brent Sherwood, Senior Vice President of Advanced Development Programs for Blue Origin, declared, we will expand access, lower the cost, and provide all the services and amenities needed to normalize spaceflight, he added. A vibrant business ecosystem will grow in low Earth orbit, generating new discoveries, new products, new entertainment, and global awareness. That's an amazing plan, and fans of space exploration were very excited about a promising future that BO drew for them. Ironically, that excitement has gradually disappeared when updates about the project have gradually dried up over time. Even in 2023, BO and its partner, Sierra Space, navigated a potential end to the Orbital Reef Partnership. In the latest update on NASA's website in March, Blue Origin's Orbital Reef recently completed testing milestones for its critical life support system. But on X, the latest information about the project still stops last December. Clearly, Blue's fans are more pessimistic than anyone else. In contrast, SpaceX enthusiast seems to be the happiest fan in the world, as almost every news about SpaceX's activities is provided on a daily basis. As of October 24, SpaceX launched the 100th Falcon 9 liftoff of 2024, increasing the total launch of rockets from the Falcon 9 family to nearly 400 times. In this way, SpaceX has helped the United States lead the world in the number of orbital launches and total payloads into orbit. And those record-breaking rockets weren't the only recent major accomplishments by SpaceX. On October 13th, the SpaceX Starship rocket left the whole world in awe with the unprecedented performance. Under Starship's fifth test flight, its gigantic super-heavy rocket booster, for the first time, returned to the launch site and was caught mid-air with a giant chopstick-like contraption called Mechazilla. Starship's success is a testament to human ingenuity and persistence onwards to Mars and beyond. Starship's maiden launch took off in April 2023. That launch aimed solely to get the 121-meter vehicle off the launch pad. And it did just that before exploding minutes into flight over the Gulf of Mexico. Based on data collected from the first flight, SpaceX entered the second attempt on November 18, 2023. The test marked a new milestone for Starship's development as the rocket successfully lifted off. All 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster started up successfully and for the first time completed a full duration burn during ascent. Starship separated from Super Heavy successfully as well via a technique known as hot staging. However, the upper stage, known as Starship, exploded about eight minutes after launch, the same fate that met the vehicle's huge first stage, called Super Heavy, 4.5 minutes earlier. SpaceX launched the third test flight of its Starship rocket on March 14 and reached space as the company pushed development of the Mammoth vehicle past new milestones. The rocket flew further than previous tests, with the flight lasting about an hour before Starship broke up above the Indian Ocean. The company noted that the vehicle did not splash down in the water, which was the intended ending of the flight. The flight represents a significant step towards SpaceX, completing prototype testing and beginning operational Starship launches. 
For Starship Flight 6, SpaceX quickly rolled out a super-heavy rocket for the upcoming test flight, manifesting that the test may be soon. The company performed a static fire on September 18 at its Starbase site in South Texas, briefly igniting the six Raptor engines of Ship 31, the upper stage of the vehicle that will conduct the sixth Starship test flight. Following Ship 31, its booster, B-13 also took part in its owned static fire test on October 24. At this point, you might wonder, despite being the same beginning, why Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have had such different trajectories. The reasons for this bitter fact are revealed by B.O.'s founder in a last December two-hour interview about Amazon, Blue Origin, his business practices, and more with the computer scientist and podcaster Lex Fridman. During the interview, Bezos candidly acknowledged. Blue Origin needs to be much faster, and it's one of the reasons that I left my role as the CEO of Amazon uh, a couple of years ago. He added that he wanted to come in, and Blue Origin needs him right now, adding some energy, some sense of urgency. They need to move much faster. Slowness partly comes from indecision, not daring to take risks and fail. It's safe to say that B.O. gets obsessed with getting things exactly right, which is reflected clearly through the logo, which is a feather that symbolizes the perfection of flight. Although the B-4 engine has the same thrust as Starship's Raptor 2, it is still not considered as powerful as the Raptor in general. This is due to the philosophy of living in a safe zone that B.O. has pursued all the time, meaning never testing the engine in its final frontier to reduce the risk of explosion as much as possible. The information surrounding the development of the new Glenn rocket is rarely shared with the public because B.O. probably does not want to reveal its weaknesses. However, does this make sense anymore now that the world knows about their slowness? On the other hand, SpaceX is famously not afraid to fail. They also failed multiple times in their attempts to land the Falcon rocket many years ago, and the company narrowly went bankrupt in 2021. Starship's Raptor engines have been continuously pushed to the limitation in tests, leading to a series of explosions and, most seriously, the damage on OLM in April 2023 caused the seven-month holding up of Starship. Despite these obstacles, Elon Musk still upholds the spirit of never giving up. So far, Falcon 9 has broken many records in terms of total payload carried into orbit and number of booster reuses. Starship and its Raptor engine have undergone five orbital test flights and have undergone rapid improvements. SpaceX's reputation and success have also attracted large customers, such as the Pentagon, thereby winning lucrative contracts. Bezos also took the high road when talking about Musk. He said decisiveness is worth noting because it is one of the secrets to SpaceX's success. During technical meetings, Musk will make decisions and take responsibility for important issues. Once the ultimate decisions are given, the next up is just action. Honestly, there is no room for hesitation here. Well, I don't really know Elon very well. Um, you know, I know his public persona but i also know you can't know anyone by their public persona um it's impossible i mean you may think you do but i guarantee you don't so i don't really know you know elon way better than i do lex but um in in terms of his judging by the results he must be a very capable leader um there's no way you could have you know tesla and spacex without being a capable leader it's impossible to be able to share these things frankly is not easy. To do that, he had to taste enough bitter fruit. Jeff's high ego caused him and Amazon's board of directors to be entangled in a lawsuit by the company's own shareholders last August. The Cleveland Bakers and Teamsters Pension Fund alleged that Amazon acted in bad faith, yielding to conflicts of interest, and as a result, overpaid for its launch contracts by hundreds of millions of dollars by refusing to work with SpaceX on Project Kuiper. This fact was made painfully obvious back in April 2022, when Amazon signed satellite launch contracts with everyone who is anyone in space, except SpaceX, the world's biggest rocket launch company, and also the cheapest to launch with. This is because Jeff Bezos has beef with Elon Musk. Afterwards, under pressure, Amazon had to change its decision. Blue's approach to building rockets is deemed to be less effective than that of SpaceX. After watching the August tour inside the new Glenn factory, an ex-account named Alex made an intriguing comment. Blue Origin's new Glenn is a very expensive rocket to manufacture compared to SpaceX's Starship. For instance, the CNC milling used to remove 90% of the material from thick aluminum lithium alloy plates is extremely time-consuming, costly, and inefficient compared to using cold-rolled sheet metal in rolls. Elon Musk responded to this tweet, stating, It is how most of the space industry makes rocket tanks. 
works but is expensive, and production is slow. Musk's comments are supported by SpaceX's impressive production speed. Currently, SpaceX can produce one Raptor engine per day and completes rocket stacking in just a few weeks. Companies like Blue Origin, ULA, and NASA often face drawbacks in terms of production timeline. Their products tend to hit years of delay. Interviews and previous tests reveal that the forward and aft sections of the new Glenn booster still appear quite rough. Blue Origin has been slower than a typical aerospace company in development and recovery from failures, as evidenced by the four-year delay of the company's first orbital rocket, New Glenn. The company has pushed back the projected launch date multiple times, disappointing many who were eager to see the rocket take flight. In contrast, SpaceX has spent years designing, testing, developing, and evaluating its various types of rockets. They started with Falcon 9 version 1.0, then version 1.1 followed by full thrust and Block 5. The lessons gained from Falcon 9's development are truly the stepping stone for the formation of the Super Heavy rockets, Falcon Heavy and Starship. Until now, Elon Musk's company has made headlines with 376 launch times of the Falcon 9 family over 14 years, resulting in 373 full successes, 99.2%. Falcon Heavy has established itself as the preferred vehicle for military missions, and Starship has become more reliable with each test flight. Low cost, high reliability, and state-of-the-art technologies have brought SpaceX to the monopoly position in rocketry, then affirming the United States' leading position in the world. So to compete with SpaceX, let alone surpass them, Blue Origin needs to try a lot. They were too slow to keep up with the rapid pace of change in the aerospace industry, and that is why they now have to speed up. Unfortunately, speed alone is not enough. The overall space industry phrase for this case is, we're significantly behind schedule and hoping to catch up. However, with New Glenn's upcoming debut goal, some within the company are questioning if the deadline can be met even with round-the-clock work. Perhaps the company needs to rethink its approach and come up with a direction that suits its current situation. The efforts to launch the Escapade mission on time show Blue's determination to catch up with its competitors. The development of New Glenn represents a significant milestone for Blue Origin, as the company transitions from its successful suborbital New Shepard program to the realm of orbital spaceflight. With its impressive capabilities and focus on reusability, New Glenn is expected to compete with industry giants such as SpaceX and United Launch Alliance, while also supporting Blue Origin's long-term vision for space habitation and lunar exploration. The vehicle is designed to take satellites, and eventually people, into Earth's orbit. It's key to Blue Origin's ability to challenge Elon Musk's SpaceX and Boeing and Lockheed Martin Corp's ULA for lucrative U.S. national security missions. Anyway, the rise of private companies owned by individuals with a vision for space exploration has helped bring the aerospace industry back to its original meaning. It's about the ambition to reach the final limit in space, establish long-term life on other planets, and inspire the next generations. This sets it apart from the organization owned by shareholders, such as Boeing, which aims the only goal, make them rich no matter what happens otherwise. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.